and I hope that bottom one's hot. So I don't know if I should get... Coffee? Yeah. So I don't know if I should get morning shot, the regular shot, or morning shot black. Uh, how do you like you it? all right? Oh, well. Someone's gonna have to make fun of it. All right, guys, so you know how we're going to have to do it. Um, hey, it's no different. It's just uh, instead, of a, instead of a Zoe, we're going to be doing coffee. So we're going to go from here, get started right, and uh, yep, we're, we're here at Type 1, so we're going to have some fun. So we're here at uh, Type 1 uh, Spoon Sports, and um, I, <laughs> you can't be in Tokyo and not come by here. I mean, they, they are the company when it comes to Hondas. So we're going to run through. I'm going to show you guys what they're doing today. Um, we're upstairs right now, and they're still kind of prepping, getting everything laid out. Uh, it's a work day, so they are going to work around us. Um, or I'm gonna work around them. I think that's a better way to put it. And uh, you guys let me know what you think. All right.
All right, guys, so as you'd expect, um, just like we saw at Tokyo Auto Salon, the, uh, the FL5 is, is definitely, definitely a supported vehicle um, for what Honda's produced. Um, you know, we are seeing it in the States, but I mean, at Tokyo Auto Salon here at Type 1, um, the, the FL5 is definitely the car. So you guys let me know what you think. Drop some comments below. Uh, let me know what you thought of today. We're gonna get going. We're gonna head to the next one because as you know, it don't stop. And uh, today's a good day for shop tours because it is raining. So hopefully the rain dies down by the time we, uh, we want to hit Daikoku tonight and, and hit the PAs for a little bit. Uh, but we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna head to the next one. Um, thanks guys, I'll see you. All right guys, so we are just down the block from uh, Type 1 and we're at another Honda company called Seeker. Um, if you guys don't know, they've been in the game for a long time. Uh, they do a bunch of performance parts uh, for Hondas. They do, you know, maintenance and everything else here. It's, uh, it's kind of a typical small Japanese shop where they, they just don't have a lot of space to work with. So the building itself, I'll show you from the outside, it's just like this little wedge of a building. Um, they've got enough room for about two bays worth of cars um, and maybe like five parking spots out in the back and that's it. And they do really phenomenal work. Uh, their performance uh, parts and everything else, their demo cars are always fast. So um, as you can see over my shoulder, that's their showroom. Like that's the, and, and that's how space goes here in, uh, in Japan. So I'll show you a couple things. I'll show you what they have in the bay, but uh, otherwise this is another spot and uh, we're gonna keep doing shop tours today. All right. For, for all you Honda fans, they got a bunch of red labels. What I was saying this is the very tip of the shop and as it goes down it wedges and gets wider on both sides um, but when space is a premium that's that's how it goes so it's it's really interesting you know as it as it gets down here on the other side it it widens out and there's enough room that we saw for a bay and everything but overall that's that's how shop space goes uh especially in the city especially in tokyo so let me know what you guys think drop some comments below um it's it's kind of funny that you know like i said space is space so if that's all the space you have you got to work with what you do. And one of the things that amazes me is that the just quality of work that comes out of that shop, um, their demo cars are super fast. So it's, it's really impressive that you don't need a massive shop and everything else to turn out a really good product, you know, or a really good car. So you guys drop some comments below. Let me know what you thought of that. Let me know what you think of Type 1, and uh, we're going to keep running. So if you guys enjoy it, hit that like. If you guys are new to my channel, check out the other stuff. Um, check out my other videos. If you like them, hit that subscribe, hit that notification, and uh, we're going to keep growing this channel. All right, I'll see you guys at the next one. We're going to get going. All right, guys, so... Uh... We're, we're making it a Honda morning. We're out here at, uh, we're out here at Fields. Um, again, not too far from uh, Spoon or Speaker, so headed over here. Uh, we're checking out their FD2 and uh, their, their fit demo cars that they've got here, um, both of which are absolutely incredible. Um, again, this is a work day, so um, 
I'm gonna have to work around them. I think I got that. I I had to figure that out at Spoon, but anyways, they're uh they're definitely here doing their thing. So we're gonna stay out of their way and uh, check out their cool cars. They're all really quiet. Like it was the same way at uh, at Spoon. Like when we were inside, I thought that thing was gonna make a lot more noise. Oh, that's okay. All of them. They're super quiet. Made that U-turn look easy. All right guys, if you know what that bridge is, you know where we're headed. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna pull in and uh, See who's there right now so uh you guys hang out and we're gonna keep having fun All right, guys, I am sure you know where I'm at. Um, but if you don't, we're out here at uh, Daikoku. We, uh, we made the sprint out here real quick and uh, we're gonna run through. So we'll see who shows up. I mean, there's, there's always, always cars out here. It doesn't matter when you come out. You can come out in the morning, you can come out midday, you can come out in the evening. Of course, in the evenings when all the good stuff is, but we decided to run up here real quick, check everything out. We got a couple other places we're gonna go. Um, but there's always, there's just a great set of cars here already. So I'm gonna run through, I'll show you guys what the, what's here. As always, let me know what you guys think. Drop those comments below and let's talk about it. There's a, a really cool mix. I mean, they got some like classic Citrons here and of course GTRs and everything else. So. I'm gonna run through. You guys let me know what you think and uh, let's talk about it. All right.
All right, so it's funny, we're, uh, we're here in Japan and uh, look, they got some challengers here. It's cool to see that uh, like as much as we are about our JDM or our Euros back home that, you know, they do the same thing here. They, they actually like the American cars, which, which is pretty cool. Oh man, we got some good stuff. R35, the NSX, the NSX is clean. How nice that looks. Just a really almost stock NSX. So really like eclectic mix here today. Driving school is coming through. Another STI. The Civic. So I'm feeling the, the Fast and the Furious Civic. That's cool, he's on air. He's got the flip-flop paint. Let's come around so we can see the front. That right there is straight period correct for like the late 90s. Whole body kit, everything. That's funny. 2.5 is cool. The, uh, the Evo is why I came over here though. Evo next to a four door 33, next to a really stock looking S15. Stock wheels listed as a spec s those those poor wheels are so tiny they're little 205s guys in the miata it's always cool because there's there's always there's always like a mix of cars that come out so you got the ferrari next to the r8 got a rally prepped the flares make that thing look like a 22B, cause that's not that's not a narrow body. We have to we have to walk back over and take a look at that. Another 8.6. Technically it's a BRZ because it's a Subaru. <laughs> Another like stock NSX coming in. Gen with some second gen wheels. Take a look at the STIs that are here. So, like I was saying, that's how it goes here. Just all all day all night oh man i walked past that's like 
almost a bone stock R32. But yeah, it's how it goes here. Check out this 32. Stock ride height, stock wheels. Like, looks like he has a muffler, like an exhaust, but like that's, that's really stock. That's amazing. Interior looks really clean. There's no dash bubble. There's, there's no bubble on the dash. That's, wow. That, you don't, you don't get to see that every day. Let me see, there's a 34. It's, it's like, almost like playing Where's Waldo? Cause there's always a car parked somewhere or like there's another car that comes in and you gotta go find it and, and see what else is new. So I think it's a four door 34 from the back. But we're gonna go. We're gonna go over and take a peek at that one too. So all, all I'm gonna do the whole time we're here is just run back and forth, run back and forth, and see see what new cars come in and what fun. Look, look, we even got it. You got a little mini. So here's that four door. Got you know, a meaty set of wheels. The way the hood looks, I would say it's wrapped and not real carbon. I cut through and try not to get run over. And we'll start going down the row. Laurel, another STI. There's that NSX we saw, a couple of the GRs. The GRs are actually really nice. Like, when you get to see them, they're, they're actually kind of wide. And then uh, our Z that we're renting. Nice 32 on some Nismo wheels. Just nice and simple. Like if you just want a daily, you just want a clean, like that's it. You, you don't have to do anything else to that. On the Advans, looks good. Let's see what else we got down here. A couple more 8.6s. As you can see, they're popular here too. Got a big six series. M2, M2 looks good. M2 has a little, little, uh, little JDM flare with the Advans on it. Lower diffuser's nice. Looks good. All right, guys, I figured uh, I might as well just try them all as we go along. So everywhere I go, I'll just uh, 
I guess try one and see which one I like best. If you guys have a certain one that you like, that you you like the taste, that you know, whatever, drop it in the comments and I'll I'll see if I can try one when I'm here. I'll see what I think. But anyways, you know how we do. Uh, we're out here uh, at the PA and the weather's holding out for now, so we're gonna we're gonna keep hanging out until uh until the weather comes out or until the cops kick us out. So we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, let's get at it. So let's take a look at this Subaru that's over here. I would say with the flares and everything. I don't know. You guys will have to tell me, is it is it a 22B or is it just a 2.5? Cause it looks. Mm. R35 just gurgling coming down. Cause see, you can see it's got bumps. Like it's definitely got the wide fenders. Yeah, I'm just not sure. You guys tell me, is that, is that the, the 22B or is that just a, a 2.5 rally setup? This thing right here is crazy. Full, full stanch drift spec. Man, that's that's sick. Tashi wrap, everything. There's the thirty five that was just making his little noise coming down.
classic BBSs, it's so small compared to all the other cars. These, that's, that's awesome. Like I would love to own one of these just to run around with it. I feel like I saw one at the track. So like I was saying, you never know what you're going to see in Daikoku. So you got a, a Firebird pulling up. Old Trans Am. It's not just JDM cars. Everything. They come out with everything here. So I, it's, it's one of the things. When you come out here, there's you never know what you're gonna see and it doesn't even matter what time you come out here so if you get the opportunity uh, you definitely need a car to get out here but if you get the opportunity just come on out so you got a 86 BRZ uh, transmission case and you have one off of a Nissan. It's crazy, they just have gearboxes here. These right here, guys. Advan TC3s, TC4s. Um, these, these would go great on the GTR. These would look so good. So you're looking at, I don't know, like, 1500 bucks for a set of wheels like that's ridiculous i wish i could uh i wish i could figure out how to just pack these up and and take them home because these i would run in a heartbeat but that is not bad so you're looking at like 1400 so maybe like 1200 us i could do one in one do a halo a black halo and a red passenger seat. The back wall section is all exhaust. And they're exhaust for, I mean, just about everything. You just have to look through and see which ones are for you. Looks like they have a bunch of Subaru exhaust. There's a DC5 one. They have some uh, OEM headers and some OEM cats. I mean, that's, that's actually kind of cool. Um, <laughs> If anybody needed an OEM cat, here's some OEM mufflers down through this section. Yeah, look, they have a S13 OEM cats. And the thing that's great about a garage is really whatever you want, you can find. Um, and I mean, priced out, like I said, a set of dampeners for 500 bucks is, you know, full coilover, so it's cheap. Now granted, you have to find them for your application, but like here's a set of DG5 dampeners for an FDR X7 for 800 bucks. Like, I mean, it'd be worth just getting them, if, even if you had to get them revalved at that price. GTR rear subframe out of Astagia. You get a hard top for a Miata. You got some 180 wide body fenders. Man, they got a lot of stuff. They had a Sylvia hood over there. There's some more wide fenders. It looks like a Porsche. Yeah, 911 rear deck lid. That's, wow, that's cool. And then an R33 uh, D-speed rear spoiler there, right there. I thought I was gonna get lucky here. I saw an ORC clutch, um, but it's for an S13, S14. That's too bad, because I, I need one of these. <laughs> Right here, this is the setup I want. I want to run the the extra DEFI gauges in the GTR. So 
this is uh this is more or less what i need i think i i think i'm gonna need like five total but uh yeah this that's what i need right here stock turbos here because these here for 33 you're looking at i don't know under 200 bucks like 180 dollars or something for a set of turbos and if they're still good that would again it's a nice upgrade off your stocks or the same thing on these uh these 34 ones which are maybe 400 bucks converted you know us so let's see what else they have up here they got some good wheels here a set of te's here um what are they 255 squared um 19 by 9 so they're not that wide um 5 by 1 14.3 and you have some work emotions they're 265 squared they're 18s by nine and a half uh 5 by 1 14 there's there's some good good wheels here some gram lights some advans got a, another set of te's 5 by 1 14 they're just a little set 215 45 17s but they're by seven and a half so not not necessarily enough width on those ah oh, some lm some bbs lms 18s by 10 114 by 5 that's that right there those are those are beautiful and they really don't want that much i mean overall they're, they're pretty cheap looks like they have a full set of a full set of volks um 18 by nine and a half five lug five by one fourteen these are r33 r34 spec inkies um these are these are pretty nice pfo fives i that's that's a good clean daily wheel here's one for an r32 pfo ones again that's that's a great like just track wheel or daily wheel something that you don't mind beating up you know full set you're looking at like 1300 oh that's that's cheap that's that's easy and we got some works and then a real small set of uh rpf ones which you guys know the four lug it's got to be a honda setup Um, and then of course they have the tuning guides and everything else. Good GTR stuff here. They have initial D stuff, a bunch of GTR publications, GTR keychains, whatever that book is, the GTR journey. So many good things. Like everything HKS makes, they've got they've got on display here. Not everything, but you know. You have all the suspension bits, intercoolers, exhaust. That's pretty cool. Some apparel, some umbrellas, a bunch of stickers. Autobox really is just like a candy store for, for car parts. I mean, anything you want, they basically have here, but it is definitely going to be full price there's there's no deals <laughs> here you're not you're not getting stuff at second hand or anything like like over at up garage it's it's nowhere like that um but they do have a lot of cool stuff here oh the nismo section oh the nismo steering wheel thousand bucks Hey, you wanted that uh, that Mugen pedal, right? Okay. I mean, I found it. Price is relative to what you want to spend. 
All right, so we just knocked out another spot. That was, uh, we were at Super Auto Box um, here in Odiva. I got a handful of little items. Um, I looked at some of the bigger stuff. There was that, I, I really, I really like that Nismo steering wheel that was up there. Um, that, that might have to come back on the list, but we'll see. So anyways, we're gonna get out of here and that might actually be it for the night. We'll see. You know, maybe maybe we'll go back to Daikoku or something. I don't know. Anyways, um, all right, we're going to get going to the next thing.